In November 1967, NASA launched the iconic Saturn V rocket for the first time. Standing 110 meters tall and producing 7.6 million pounds of thrust, the Saturn V still holds the record for the largest and most powerful rocket ever launched. But a rocket designed years before the Saturn V would have shattered the scale of rocket design and altered the course of rocket technology. The rocket was known as the Sea Dragon. This was an enormous two-staged rocket, aiming to cut costs and launch extremely heavy payloads into space. The idea for the Sea Dragon came from engineer Robert Truax in the early 60s. Truax envisioned a semi-reusable two-stage launch vehicle capable of delivering extreme payloads to the Moon and Mars. Simplicity, reusability, and cost savings were the guiding principles behind the rocket's design. Sea Dragon's first stage consisted of a single engine rather than multiple smaller engines like the Saturn V. Instead of using complex fuel pumps, it had liquid nitrogen tanks which would pressurize the fuel tanks and push the propellants into the engine. Taking away the complex and unreliable fuel pumps would make the engine cheaper to build and easier to refurbish. Since both stages of the rocket were designed to be refurbished and reused, they had to be recovered carefully after each launch. Once the rocket launched and reached an altitude of about 38 kilometers, the first stage engine would cut out and separate from the second stage. It would continue to fall back to Earth using an inflatable flare. This would help to slow the stage down and orient it in a way that wouldn't damage the engine once it hit the ocean. The second stage would follow a similar path back to Earth after delivering the payload into orbit. Given the sheer size of the Sea Dragon, it would have been far too big to build and transport on land. The incredible amount of sound generated during liftoff would have created shockwaves strong enough to damage the launch pad and the rocket itself. In order to overcome these issues, the rocket would need to be built and launched at sea. The rocket would be built in a shipyard and towed out to the launch site. In order to orient the rocket vertically, six tanks near the base of the rocket would fill with water and sink the engine into the sea. Although sea-launched rockets had already been used during the Second World War, the technology had never been tested on such an enormous scale. In order to begin testing the Sea Dragon, engineers modified a rocket from the U.S. Navy nicknamed Seahorse. Testing began in San Francisco Bay, where engineers fired the rocket's engine on a barge above the water and slowly lowered it into the water. The engineers found that once submerged, the engine could continue to fire perfectly, and the sea dampened the shockwaves substantially. The success of this test opened the door for the Sea Dragon to become a reality. However, like many other rocket designs, Sea Dragon failed to leave the drawing boards. As the 1960s came to a close, NASA's budget was slashed as the United States went to war with Vietnam. At the height of the decade, NASA's annual budget peaked at $5.9 billion. Over the next few years, their budget was reduced by 37%. These cuts ended many of NASA's experimental research programs, along with the construction of the Sea Dragon. In many ways, the sheer size of the rocket's design contributed to the downfall of Sea Dragon. As the Saturn V rocket continued to develop, NASA were reaping the benefits of having a rocket much larger and more powerful than anything else that had come before. Although Sea Dragon would have opened the door for even larger payloads, NASA couldn't justify the cost of developing the unproven technology required to make Sea Dragon operational. From a technical standpoint, there were also concerns with combustion instability for a rocket this large. Sea Dragon would have generated more than 79 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, 10 times the amount of the Saturn V, which had its own combustion instability problems. Either way, the Sea Dragon will go down in history as one of the craziest rocket concepts that almost happened. Since the retirement of the Saturn V in 1973, SpaceX's Starship rocket is the closest thing we have to the Sea Dragon concept. Starship is designed to be 118 meters tall and produce 16 million pounds of thrust. So although we never got to see what became of the incredibly ambitious Sea Dragon, we can look forward to the exciting future that lies ahead in the world of spaceflight. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.